Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Faulkner and I'm back with another story today called Gaston. It is written by Kelly DiPuccio and pictures illustrated by Christian Robinson. And Gaston has to learn how to be a proper dog. He can't pant, he can't slobber, he can't eat and gobble everything up all at once. He has to be very proper. And we're going to find out what happens with Gaston and if he can be as perfect as he thinks he can be. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies, Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Now, does Gaston look like the other poodles? Mm, not really with his ears poking up. He looks like a little bunny. Would you like to see them again? There's Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so too. The puppies grew as puppies do, and they were no bigger than teacups. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. So as you can see, we have Fifi, Fufu, and Ooh La La, just tiny little teacups. And then we have Gaston, who was the size of a teapot. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to sip, never to slobber. Oh, good, well done, very nice. Eh, nice try, Gaston. And they were taught to yip, but never yap. Yip, yip, yip. They don't sound alike. And they were taught to walk with grace and never race. Tiptoe, tippity toe. Whoa! Gaston just runs and knocks everything over. The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest. He practiced the longest and smiled the biggest. And he does look pretty in pink as well. Now, Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all of her puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Spring arrived and the proud mother was eager to show off, of her, off all her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in, in public. There was much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, and other dogs. Oh dear, what do we have here? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? So we have Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston, Ricky, Rocky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Now what do you see here and over here? I see three dogs that look like Gaston and three dogs that look like Antoinette. There's Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Now this was a little more than a little awkward. The mother sized up the pups and the pups sized up one another. Hmm, it seems there have been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. We, oui, we, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. Hmm, well, I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. Huh. So what do we do? Well, looks like there could have been a possible mix-up. Maybe Antoinette and Gaston were mixed up. But are they going to go back to where they belong? They have to decide. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix-up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. So remember, he learned how to be a proper dog. She has not. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. 
near. Now that looked right. So now we have all the bulldogs together and all the poodles together, but it just didn't feel right. They looked like they all belonged with each group, but it just didn't feel like they should be mixed up. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Fully! And on the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Blech. So these dogs like to rough house. These dogs are very prim and proper. Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones. So there's Mama, and she's looking at Gaston, even though he doesn't look like her poodles. He was still her baby. And they were having a hard time adjusting. So the bulldogs, of course, did not get any proper training, and they are making a huge mess with their kibble. They're not eating it nibble by nibble. They're gobbling it all up. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. We, oui, we, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. The dogs are chasing the squirrel. They're all smiling. There's Gaston waiting patiently. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time in trading places. There, now that looked right. And it felt right too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rick, Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, ooh la la, and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. So here they are rough and tumble, playing tug of war with a stick. Here they are offering a nut to the squirrel, sitting with the flowers and with the ball, just waiting for their turn. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. And we have Gaston's and Antoinette's. And there's the squirrel in the background. And that is the end of Gaston. And the next book in this series is Antoinette. So even though Gaston did not look like his brothers and sisters, he felt like it was his family. And Antoinette didn't really feel like she felt in with her family, but it turns out they both were in the right families for them. And at the back of our book, we have Mama, Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. And they look very happy as a family. And that is the end of Gaston.